On older Android phones, you can only create a hotspot when you are using a mobile data connection. You cannot turn on mobile hotspot while connected to a Wi-Fi network. If you try to activate the hotspot while the Wi-Fi is on, the Android system will automatically turn off the Wi-Fi. Similarly, when your hotspot is already activated and you try to turn on Wi-Fi, it will deactivate the hotspot. So, in this video, let's see how to use Wi-Fi and hotspot at the same time on an Android phone. Method 1. Using Wi-Fi sharing feature on Android To use both Wi-Fi and hotspot, you have to enable the Wi-Fi sharing feature in your phone setting. I am using a Samsung phone, but the steps are similar on other Android phones as well. So, head to the settings app. Tap on connections. Mobile hotspot and tethering. Mobile hotspot. Tap on configure. Expand the advanced section. From here, you can turn on the Wi-Fi sharing feature on the Samsung phone. Once you have this option enabled, you can just turn on the hotspot and share the Wi-Fi internet on other devices. On my Realme phone, it has dedicated Wi-Fi tethering option in settings. Wi-Fi tethering is specifically for sharing the Wi-Fi connections only. Once you enable this option, you do not need to turn on the mobile hotspot. You can just use the Wi-Fi tethering name and passwords to connect your other devices to it. You'll find it under other wireless connections. Let's connect my laptop to the Wi-Fi hotspot. You can see the internet is just working fine on my PC through the Wi-Fi tethering. Method 2. Using a third party app. If your phone doesn't have the Wi-Fi sharing or Wi-Fi tethering option, you can perform the task using a third party app called NetShare No Root Tethering. As the name suggests, this app doesn't require root access. Install the app from Google Play Store. Open the app. You need to just check the box next to the start Wi-Fi hotspot. Once you do that, it will create a Wi-Fi hotspot and you can see its name and password here. Then expand the connection instructions section. Take note of the proxy address and port. You'll need this to connect other devices to the Wi-Fi hotspot. The steps to connect the Wi-Fi hotspot are a bit different on different platforms. Let's start with Windows first. On a Windows PC, you need to first connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot. Enter the password that you see on the NetShare app. Now, if you open up the browser and search for anything, you won't get access to the internet. To fix that, you need to set up a proxy. So, head over to the Windows Proxy settings. We need to set up Manual Proxy. Enable User Proxy Server. Here, enter the proxy IP address and port number from the NetShare app. Save Changes. Now, if you search for anything on the browser, you will have the full internet access. Bring in your second Android phone or tablet. Now connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot created by the first Android phone. Once you connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot, tap the settings icon beside it. Expand the view more section. Tap on proxy and select manual. Then enter the proxy IP address and port number here.
Now you will be able to access the internet on this device. Guys, if you have any other device like an iPhone, Mac or Chromebook, you have to perform similar steps to enable the proxy settings. Then only you will be able to access the internet through the Wi-Fi hotspot. NetShare has a detailed guide for each platform. You can check it out here.